Hey guys, welcome back to Beach and Fishing. Paul here with you again, and Beach and Fishing, my site and channel, and everything to the world of beach fishing, outdoors camping, and so on. And as it is today, we're getting, I'm getting all my camping gear out, ready for us to go away, to come up with Christmas break here, down under, which is nice summer camping for us. And part of summer camping is the fact that we want a, we need a little fan inside the tent because when it gets hot at night, little fan can be a godsend. Now, portable camping fans are something that many of us use, as I keep mentioning, when the weather's warm. And they are something that, if you don't have, you might be okay, but if you do have, they just sell you so much more. Now, as with everything to do with camping, there are quite a few variations that you can consider. Now, this is the camping fan we use. It's quite a larger size, again, and I mentioned this in a lot of the camping videos that I've talked through, is that if you're hiking, this is too big. You don't want to, if you've got your backpack and everything, you don't want to be trying to carry this. So a little tiny handheld one might work better. But let's have a look at the basics of them. Now, as with anything, size and power requirements are pretty much your main points of difference here. This one's not a small one, as I've just we've just talked about. Now it charges. I have to plug this into electricity. It won't work through a 12 volt, and it doesn't actually work very well through the solar panel into a 12 volt battery. But what it will do, it might work in a generator or a power station. You just need to check the settings for that. But this one, I charge on the on power during the during the day or before we go, and then. I've got a switch here where I can run it to battery or AC. You can't really see that, but battery or normal power. And then I turn it on, and you can see there it's blowing quite nicely. Turn it up high. If I turn it up high, you can probably hear that. Take the down in the microphone, you can probably hear that there. So that is running quite well. And that's what a portable fan does. It turns on, blows there like a fan, so as I mentioned, the main things to consider when you're looking at your fan is how it's powered and the size that you want it. Then from there, as always, we can go into the extras that it has. So this one, as I mentioned, has a little battery inside it, which is great if you're going to a non-powered area. This one will actually last two nights uh, from on full charge. If I charge it overnight at home before we go, it will run very, very well on the on, on there. This one actually does have a 12 volt connector at the back, but it really doesn't work that well on a 12 volt for some reason. But so if you could, you could run this off a battery and that'd be something that I'd be checking if you're going off grid, make sure that it can run off a 12 volt battery or a solar panel or a generator and the light. This one actually has a light on it as well. So if I click that, you can see the little light that's come on there. So that is just a little extra. Um, and not much else more to it than that. Uh, this has two fan speeds. You can get some that have up to six or seven or eight or nine or 10 fan speeds. You can have some that will run off your mobile phone or have a remote control. So if you're lying in bed and you've got it over there, you can just change the, the speed or you can turn it off in the middle of the night if it gets, once the weather cool, once the temperature cools down, you can turn it off with your remote control. You don't have to get up. Different light settings, some have dimmable lights and, and the like on it as well. Some come with stands, some come with little hooks where you hook them up the top of your tent, depending on what you're after. But that's it guys, not really much more I can talk to you about that. This is a portable fan for camping. Um, stick around, I'll take you through the three options I've come up with for you below. And just like that, we're back. So let's go through and have a look at the three fans that I've come up with based on the information we've just talked about. So as we scroll through the post, all the information I just went through is in here. We don't need to read through all that again. So basically the three options I've come up with here. The first one is very small, so it's good for those who are looking to hike or go you know, off the beaten track a bit more. It has, it's very light, 1.6 pounds. Uh, runs on D-cell batteries and it will stand or hang. It has the, um, up to five hours runtime, 20 hours from low in fully charged batteries. So it will last you all, all weekend if you run it on low just to keep some circulation in the tent, etc. And it's got some LED lights in there as well. So all in all, a pretty good choice for a pretty good price too, 20 bucks. So I think for 20 bucks, you could do a lot worse than this one. It is quite popular. 
And as I say, it's got a fan, a light. So if you are someone who is looking to, as I said, hike around, with the fan and light and one thing, this one could work very well for you. Okay, next one is more for the bigger tents. So you can see it's slightly larger in size and it does come with a nice big stand on it as well. It's rechargeable batteries. So like the one I showed you in the video, you can plug it in and charge up the battery and it run without the battery. It's got the tripod, six speeds and a timer. Um, and as I say, the, the, replace, the replaceable batteries will you can change them so they're interchangeable but they're rechargeable. Uh, it's got a remote control and a built-in power bank so it will actually allow you to charge your mobile phone or whatever you want to use from it as well. Um, so yeah, it can it can go indoors, outdoors as here if you're using your barbecue, you can put it beside that to keep you cool, etc, etc. So a very good option this one for um, the larger campsite. And finally, 16 inch rechargeable battery operated floor fan. So this one goes on the floor of a tent. It's a bit heavier, a bit bigger. Rechargeable batteries again, the same as the previous one. So again, you can charge your batteries up. This one's got metal blades. Um, it's got a backup power bank, fast charging adapter, rubber pads for vibration so it won't vibrate around your tent, nice and quiet. Again, this is a very good one if you're working, if you're camping in a large family type tent, this one would, absolutely do exactly what you need and of course you can take it home put it in your barbecue area put it anywhere that you want it to indoors or out, don't leave it outdoors in the rain but indoors or outdoors wherever you want to use it uh, 360 degree adjustable tilt so you can put the you can have it blow air straight up into the ceiling if you wish or down under the floor and have it come up if you don't want it directly on you while you sleep but that's my third option which is the Greek air the geek air 16 inch rechargeable fan and that's it guys that's my three fan options as you saw there a small option for those who are camping with the lights in, incorporated slightly larger option with your power bank and and such that will with the tripod for large fan tents and the last one is a very good all-round rechargeable fan that you can use indoors outdoors if you're in an rv or caravan it'll work very well in there for you as well so that's it guys hope that was helpful my three camping van, uh, camping fans, portable camping fans. Hope that was helpful for you. Whether on YouTube or, or the post, comment below, let me know what you use. I'd love to hear what you're using out there. If it's something that a lot of people are using, I can certainly add it to the post because it means it'll be popular. If you are watching within YouTube, please also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel below. That's it guys, have fun camping and I'll chat to you soon, bye.